Now we are going to talk about how to change uh, purchasing contract in a massive way. Okay, so the business object that we are going to talk about here will be bus 2014. Okay, now we'll just execute here and we'll select probably I'll change the description. Okay, so here. Hmm. So let's go and we'll change some descriptions. So TXC01 that's the description and I go to uh, TXC001 and we'll go to here we'll execute and we'll see all these descriptions here populated. Now what we can do is we can go to this transaction so here EKPO has all these fields populated. Now what we can do is we can change this to test contract and we will just save it. Oops. And now we will going to save it. Let's see whether the magic happens or not. So here the magic is happening. There was one failure. There's a reason behind it because uh, so there's problem on the material numbers, but uh, others it worked perfectly. Okay, now suppose we have a requirement to change some other field. Okay, let's see what more field we can change here. Uh, can we change the material group? Let's see. We never know. So we are going to execute. And let's see whether we have some material group here. So here we can see there's some material group. So sometimes it may fail. So let's go. We'll go to here and we'll select uh, material group. So we'll just select material. material group here. And we'll see. We'll try to make some changes. So here all these are the material group and probably we'll use some other material group altogether. So let's see, uh, let's go here, probably we have a bunch when it takes some time and therefore probably we have a bunch. Now let's do this, just pick some random and now we are going to do a mass change and we are going to save it see there might be some errors so there yeah you see some failed so now let's see whether it updated or not uh, so it says it updated could not be affected okay so some of the these changes could not be affected so it didn't update but it gave a green thing that's that's strange so because I think there's no material available so that's why so let's see whether we can see we can change some quantity let's go can we change quantity order quantity probably there will not be any order quantity for a contract probably there would be some for some target quantity so let's see we'll select uh, for sure Target quantity. So let's see target quantity, and we'll just execute. Yeah, here you see we have some target quantity. So now what we can do is we we'll just put this value. And I think we have already selected the target quantity, and we'll do a mass change. And we'll save it. And once we save it, uh, changes have been saved. Some updated, some didn't. But whoever updated and the others which didn't update, there's a reason behind. It didn't get updated. So this, this covers everything on what are the changes, the mass changes of purchasing contract. So it's the same table EKPO, but it's a different business object, bus 2014. And not all the fields can be updated, though it shows in that a place where you can do mass change but it will not be updated so that's the catch you have to be smart enough to do it uh, and again it will not 
it will not go to a direct change without the validation that's the best part of this mass transaction is so that covers everything on purchasing contract mass change update